Ugh. I don't have enough Robux to finish customizing my avatar. Just use your allowance to buy some more. I already spent it all. There has to be another way. Aha. Uh -huh. What are you doing? That's mom's wallet. Watch this. You can't use mom's credit card without asking. If she finds out, you're gonna be in big trouble. You know how many charges she makes every day? She's not gonna notice one more. Mom always says what happens in the dark always comes to light. Bruh, stop being such a square. Uh, has anybody seen my... Oh, there it is. Wait, I, I really think you should look inside of it. You know, just to make sure everything's in there. Uh, okay, that's a good... Oh, my client must have arrived early. Hello? She's already there. Okay, uh, I'm coming. Okay, uh, I gotta run. I will see you boys later. Wait, I really wish... Uh, what, he, what he was trying to say was, m maybe you should drop us off at the store. But you've already spent your entire month's allowance. We'll, we'll just walk around. You know, window shop. Please take us. I mean, it's on the way. Fine, but we have to go now. Come on, I don't have much time. Yes, thanks, Mom. Yo, I've been wanting to get this since it came out. You know that costs almost 300 bucks, right? So? It's not like I'm the one paying for it. You can't use that, you're gonna get caught. Dude, not this lecture again. Georgie, I'm serious, put it back before. Hey guys, can I help you with anything? Uh, actually, yeah, do you have PS5s? Oh, I wish, but we're actually all sold out. Darn, I've been wanting to get one for my birthday. Well, I guess I'll just buy this then. Great, well, let me take this in the front for you, whenever you're ready. Cool. All right, check this out. You can choose anything you want in this store and I'll buy it for you. No, I don't want anything to do with this. I'll be waiting outside. <laughs> Sammy, C come on. Whatever. All right, we still got 15 minutes before mom gets here. I say we go to another store. So you can buy more stuff on a stolen card? Not a chance. <sighs> You're being so dramatic. How are you planning on explaining that? What happens if mom asks how you paid for it? You really take me for a fool, don't you? Mom is never gonna know that I bought this. Hey boys, do you like video games? I got a brand new PS5 for sale. We're not interested, thanks. Oh, speak for yourself. How much? This one retails for 500, but uh, I'll let it go for 250. What? Wait, <laughs> are you serious? That's a steal. <laughs> <laughs> it sure is. Oh, I, I don't have cash, but you take credit card? You, you, you can't use that. Stop it. You're embarrassing me. Don't take his card. It's not even his. He's not. Quiet. <sighs> Sorry about my little brother. <laughs> uh, what he means to say is that it's my mom's credit card. Uh, does that matter? Not to me. Just as long as it works. Great. Well, there you go. Perfect. I gotta read it in the car. I'll be right back. I can't believe you. You're just gonna let him walk away with the PS5 and the card? What if he runs away? <laughs> He's not gonna do that. Are you? No, I would never do that. Here, I'll tell you what. You can hang on to this until I get back. Oh, well, thanks. See? How do you know the console's even in there? This could all just be a scam. Must you ruin everything? This isn't a scam. Feel how heavy this is. What's that shaking noise? Uh, I, I don't know. Rocks? What the heck? That's all that's in here. Hey, hey you, get back here! Hey, give me my card back! Get it away! No! What a crook. Like, you're any better? I told you not to steal mom's card. What are you gonna do now? I don't know, but I, I gotta figure out something. It's time you tell her the truth. What? No! 
She'll kill me if she figures out I stole her card. So what, you're just gonna let some thief charge it up? If you don't tell her, she won't know to cancel it. Just stop talking for a minute, okay? I gotta think of a good lie. Lying is what got you into this mess in the first place. It's time you tell- Mom, what about the PS5 box? Who cares, it's just rocks. How was the store? Georgie has something he wants to tell you. Right, Georgie? Oh yeah? What's that? <laughs> uh, uh, I, I was thinking uh, maybe we could have spaghetti for dinner. Hmm. That's a great idea. Here you go. Oh, thanks, Mom. Mm -hmm. So, Georgie, I've been meaning to ask you something. Lately, You've been acting a little funny. Funny? Uh, how so? Like you're hiding something from me. I mean, this morning you covered Sammy's mouth. Uh, just what could I possibly be hiding? You really think I wouldn't figure it out? It's quite obvious that you failed your math exam. Were you really not gonna tell me? Oh, my math test. Uh, of course I was gonna tell you, Ma. I was just about to mention it, actually. Uh, you see... <laughs> oh, that's the credit card company calling. That's strange. I'll call him back after dinner. <laughs> <clears throat> that's a good idea. <laughs> you don't want your food to get cold. <laughs> Wait, uh, you should probably answer. It might be important. You're right. Hello? Do I have my credit card? I'm pretty sure I do. Let me check. Oh. Oh my gosh, it's not in my wallet. Have either of you seen my credit card? Uh, no, I, actually, I, I haven't seen it. I don't know how this happened, but my credit card is missing. There's been some suspicious activity, what? <laughs> Rolex for $7,000. Gucci for 3,800? Neither of you know anything about this. Georgie. No. Uh -uh. <laughs> An Oculus? No, I didn't buy that. $99 for Roblox. Wait, isn't that the game that you play? Uh, no, but it's not. Well, so sometimes, but uh, not that much. Georgie, is there something you need to tell me? This is your last chance. Fine, suit yourself. No, I don't recognize any of those transactions. Would I like to press charges against the person who stole my credit card and send them to jail? Well, as a matter of fact, I- I took it! I'm sorry. I used your card to buy some Robux and... And then I bought an Oculus and... I, here. Here. We can still uh, return it. And? I need the Rolex and the Gucci. None of those charges were mine, I swear. There was this guy who tried to sell me a PS5 and uh, I gave him my card. Well, I, I mean your card and, and then he disappeared. Nice try. I'm not gonna ask you again. I need them back or I'm gonna tell them I wanna press charges. No, please, please believe me, mom. I'm begging you. I don't wanna go to jail. Well, lucky for you, you might have if that was the real credit card company. What? It, it isn't? Nope. I had my office phone call me. But I, I don't understand. If the credit card company didn't call you, then how'd you know? That you stole my credit card? I knew from the very beginning. You see, I get notifications on my phone whenever a charge is made. Within three seconds, I knew what you were doing. And here's a tip. Don't leave the order confirmation on the screen that shows you used my credit card. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Is there anything else you want to tell Mom? You know, like, where the card is now? Oh, yeah, there is. Mom, you do actually have to call a credit card company because I wasn't lying to you about the guy I was telling you about earlier. He sold me a box full of rocks, and, and, and then he ran away with your card. We tried to get him, but he got away. So this guy, 
Does he look like him? Uh, yeah, exactly like... Wait, what are you doing here? Mom, call the cops right now. I would, except this guy is my assistant, Joey. He is? Mm-hmm. I had him sell you a fake PS5. Hello. Oh, uh, here's your card back. Oh, thank you. I will call you later. I'm so confused. So you purposely set me up to get scammed? But why would you do that? To teach you a lesson. See, I told myself it was wrong for you to use my credit card to begin with. But if you were honest with me, I would still give you the PS5 I got you for your birthday. No way. You got me the PS5? <gasps> yes. Had gotten it for you. See, because you lied to me and Sammy was honest, I'm giving it to him. Wow. <gasps> Thank you so much. That isn't fair. I, I wanted that. <sighs> oh, well. At least I can still play with this. Oh, no. We're returning this. But then, what do I get for my birthday? Oh, I don't know. How about I don't call the cops and tell them what you did? So, I hope you learned. What happens in the dark... I know, I know. Always comes to light. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, at least we got the money back for the Oculus. Oh, sorry again, Mom, but I'm glad everything worked out. Oh, Mom, I was wondering, since today's the first, do you think I could maybe get my allowance for some new shoes? Here you go. But I don't have any change. Well, that's all right. You've been so good lately, you can keep it. Wow, <laughs> thanks. Hey, uh, what about my allowance? Here you go. That also includes your birthday money. Yes, I think I'm gonna buy a... Why'd you do that? Do you really think I forgot about the Roblox? This is you paying me back. <sighs> no, please give it back. Here you go, Sammy. How about you buy yourself some new clothes too? Seriously, this is the best day ever. I think I'll start in that store over there. Come on. already, Tristan. Your sister is going to the concert with you. Come on, Mom. I'm gonna be with my friends. I can't be babysitting my little sister. I already have to deal with her at school. Oh, no, no. You are not going to that concert without Macy. And you know how much she loves Drake, too. And speaking of school, if you fail another test, it is you that won't be going to that concert. So you better get to studying, young man. You're ruining my life, you know that? What are you hiding? Nothing. But, hey, give that back! Man, what do we have here? Give oh, it back! You got a D? Ooh, you failed! You know what that means? No concert. Look, I've never failed an exam. I don't know how it happened. Just wait until I tell Mom. What? You can't tell Mom! <laughs> Why shouldn't I? Because I'm going to tell her. Just not now. Look, you know how badly I want to see Drake. I'm going to tell her after. And you know how bad I don't want you to go. So what's in it for me? I'm your sister. Can't you just do me this one favor? <laughs> uh, no, it's going to cost you. What do I want? I know. You have to do whatever I say for an entire month. A month? No way, Tristan. Fine, a week? That's my last and final offer. No, stop blackmailing me. All right, fine. Mom? Look, be quiet. Mom! Stop, stop, stop. I'll do it. Great. You can uh, start by uh, doing my homework. <sighs> Give me my exam back. Yeah, right. I'm keeping this as collateral. I'll give it back to you at the end of the week, as long as you uh, held up your end of the bargain. What if mom finds it? 
Don't worry, I'll hide it. Deal? Deal. <laughs> hey, one of you guys called me? Uh, no, we didn't call you. It has been a long week. I must be losing my mind. Anyway, dinner will be ready in 10. And, uh, did you guys both do your homework? Oh, uh, yeah. We got it covered, right, Lacey? Mm hmm Good. Mm -mm. Well, not to toot my own horn, but that was delicious. <laughs> well, I am going to go ahead and head on up. Tristan, why don't you clear the table and do the dishes, okay? Uh, I don't feel like it. Excuse me? Tristan, it is your night to do the dishes. Uh, I know, but Macy said she wanted to. What? No, I didn't. I just did them. Really? Oh, you know, Mom, there's something I've been meaning to tell you about Macy. Oh, yeah! <laughs> He's right. Uh, I'll start right now. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um, that is really sweet of you to do the dishes for Tristan, baby. Um, I've never seen this before. <laughs> oh, I know. Macy's just so sweet. Hmm. <laughs> well, I am going to go ahead and head on up. <clears throat> Oh, and uh, Tristan, is there something you wanted to tell me? Oh, oh nothing, Mom. It, it wasn't important. Okay. If you say so, well, good night. Good night. <laughs> so make sure to wash them real good. Get away from me. <laughs> You know, I really like this whole blackmail thing. <laughs> it's gonna be a good week. You better hurry up. You got homework to do. <laughs> Your coworker's friend has a plug for VIP passes? Uh, how much are they? 300 bucks? Uh... Okay, um, I'll figure something out and hit you back later. And peace. Did you uh, hear that? I'm getting backstage passes for the concert. Too bad you don't have $300. <laughs> Why don't you worry about doing my chores? Uh, I mean, your chores. <laughs> Here you go. You gross, Tristan. <laughs> oh. Okay, sorry. You, it stinks! Stop playing! Hey! Don't do that! What in the world is going on? Uh, nothing, we're just playing around. Mm-hmm. How may I see? Alright, well, I'm going to the store. Did you guys need anything? No, all good. Okay. Oh, actually, Mom, do you think we can uh, get our allowance a day early? Please? Uh... All right, well, I don't see anything wrong with it. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. One fifty for you. <laughs> and one fifty for you. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> You're welcome, baby. And spend it wisely, please. Bye. <laughs> Mm, not so fast. What now? Your allowance money. Give it to me. No way, Tristan. <laughs> I'm not playing. Come on, Tristan. I need it to buy an outfit for the concert. Hmm. Well, if I tell mom about your test, you won't need an outfit, will you? Fine, let me just tell mom about oh, this is Okay, up. fine. Uh, this is so messed up. Having me do your chores and your homework, and now you're taking my money too? I can't believe you're doing this. <laughs> well, if you didn't fail your exam, this wouldn't be happening. Anyways, I gotta go get my VIP passes. <laughs> and uh, make sure my laundry's done by the time I get back home. Hmm?
Tristan's history exam? Uh, he got a... Hey, baby. Uh, what are you doing in here? Oh, I, uh, I was helping Tristan make his bed up. Oh, baby, you do not have to help him do that. That is his job. Well, here, if you must do... Oh, uh, it's okay, really. I'll take care of it. No, don't be silly. Honestly, I got it, Mom, but thanks. You have been awfully generous to your brother lately. Yeah, I mean, he is my brother at the end of the day. Okay. All right, well, I will be downstairs. I just remember why I came in here in the first place. I found a few of Tristan's socks in my laundry basket. Oh, I'll take them. It's okay, honey. I want to see if I can find the matches. What are you doing? I need to get in there. Uh, honestly, Mom, I, I can do it. You have done enough already, Macy. Now move. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. Step aside. What in the world? Macy, what are these? Um... You both got D's on your history exams? Why didn't you tell me about this? I was going to. I just knew you wouldn't let me go to the concert, so I was going to tell you after. I cannot believe this. And Macy, you've never gotten a D. I know, I'm sorry. I studied and everything. I don't know how it happened. Wait a minute. So does this have anything at all to do with why you've been doing your brother's chores lately? Macy? Okay, uh, to tell you the truth, Tristan found my exam and he knew if you saw it, you wouldn't let me go to the concert. So he said the only way he wouldn't show you is if I did everything he told me to for the entire week. He's blackmailing you? I can't believe him. Or you. Macy, you should have been honest with me about this in the first place. Don't I always tell you that whatever happens in the dark always comes to the light? I know, I know. I was going to tell you. I just got so caught up with Tristan. And... I'm sorry, Mom. I guess I can understand. So wait, if you knew that he also failed, then maybe why would you? Would you I just found them right now. He never told me about it. If I knew, I never would have listened to him. So not only does he hide this from me, he hid it from you and he blackmails you. <laughs> he's gotta pay. Well, he's gonna be pretty devastated when he finds out he can't go to the concert anymore. Oh, we are gonna do so much more than that. Come with me. I have an idea. Mmm, look what I got. <laughs> cool. Have fun in a uh, general admission with all the other peasants. <laughs> in the meantime, I got some uh, reading for you to do. Chapter three, chapter four. Make sure to take good notes. Nope. <laughs> uh, what was that? You want me to tell mom about your test? I'm not stopping you. Do we really have to do this again, Macy? You won't be able to go to the concert tomorrow. <laughs> All right, it's your funeral. Last chance. Sure you want to do that? But why not? You're not keeping up your end of the bargain. Well, the terms of our deal are about to change. Where did you find that? Don't worry about it. Just know that the days of you blackmailing me are over. 
what? You can't tell me it's over. Unless you mean to tell mom about your grade, I call the shots here. All right. <laughs> Just know you'll be kissing your little VIP pass goodbye when I tell her about yours. <laughs> Hmm. I'll keep your little secret, but there has to be something in it for me. What do you want? Uh, I don't know. Actually, you can start by cleaning my room, and then when you're finished, report to me for your next task. This is so ridiculous. Not so fun when you're the one being blackmailed, huh? It's really the seven octillion atoms in my body that make me do this. What? <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe we got a video. Can you vacuum in another room? I'm trying to watch a movie. You're really enjoying this, aren't you? <laughs> I mean, I'd be lying if I said no. I'm supposed to be at Jared's right now, pre-gaming before the concert. But instead, I'm doing your chores. It's funny how you're trying to spin this around when you literally did the same exact thing. Well, yeah, well, if mom didn't make me take you to the concert, I wouldn't be in this mess. You know, I should've just told on you in the first place. Yeah, you could have, but you chose to blackmail me instead. Oh uh, yeah, and I would've gotten away with it too. Yeah, but you didn't. By the way, vacuum this up. Oh, you will get on. No, <laughs> Open up! Macy, open this door. I'm not playing. Open this hey! door, Macy. Enough! What is going on? <sighs> Macy's blackmailing me, that's what. Really? She's blackmailing you? Yeah. Okay, so uh, now, how would she be able to do that, Tristan? Uh, does she have something on you? No. I mean, she's, she's just taking advantage of me so she doesn't have to do any of her chores. I see. You know, I have noticed Macy's been doing a lot of your chores this week. The dishes, the laundry. But tell me, Tristan, why on earth would she be doing your chores when she doesn't even want to do her own? Mm. I don't know. Are you sure? Yeah. Hmm. So, it has nothing to do with this? Wait, you know about that? Mm-hmm. You told mom? Nope. She didn't tell me anything. I found it myself. I also found your exam. I can't believe you tried to hide this from me and then blackmail your sister. Okay, I'm sorry. But aren't you gonna say something about her blackmailing me? Nope. Because it was my idea, Tristan, to give you a taste of your own medicine. Doesn't feel good, does it? Hmm. I didn't think so. Come on. Come and talk to me, both of you. Have a seat. You both know that I try not to make a lot of rules, but one thing I will not tolerate is lying or taking advantage. Tristan, you owe your sister an apology. I'm sorry, Macy, for blackmailing you. It's okay. And I'm sorry for not being honest about my exam. Now, I am not happy about this, but I trust that neither one of you will ever try to hide anything from me again, because if you do, oh, it's gonna be a lot worse. Understand? Okay. So, does this mean we can still go to the concert? Normally, I'd say no, but I did get an email from your history teacher today, and uh, it seems that everyone failed. <laughs> they made the test a little too hard, so they decided to curb all the grades, and it looks like you both passed. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> so, so we, we passed. passed. Wow, so if we were just honest- Then from... you could have avoided all this drama in the first place, yeah. So this means we can go, right? <sighs> Oh, okay, 
on, uh, no, on, on one, one condition. What's that? That you take your mama with you. Oh, what? No. <laughs> I, I already have to take my little sister. I can't be seen going with my mom. You don't even listen to Drake. Oh, yes, I do. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, <clears throat> Kiki. Oh, please, mom, not right now. <laughs> it's no. mom. It's fine. Mom can go with me. <laughs> My friend canceled on me anyway. Mm. And Tristan, don't you have VIP passes? You're not even going to be with us. Mm -hmm. That's right. I guess that's okay then. <laughs> well, uh, I'm going to go get ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Baby, mm -hmm. shall we? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody have your phones out, please. Uh, excuse me, is there a VIP line? VIP's right over there, sir. All right, great. Have fun waiting in the regular line, peasants. <laughs> hey, uh, we're VIP. It's not working. Are you sure these tickets are legit? Uh, yeah, of course. There must be something wrong with your gun. Hey, let me see your scanner real quick. Everything all right? What's going on? I'm sorry, but it looks like someone sold you some fake tickets. Uh, what? No, that can't be possible. You said your coworker had a plug. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. He said they were legit. Sounds like you guys got scammed. <sighs> so we can't get into VIP? Not with those, you can't. But you can go wait in the regular line. Do you still have the original tickets? Uh, no, I had to exchange them for the VIP. No, dude. Hey, look, guys, if you don't have any tickets, I can't have you waiting around here. You're gonna have to go wait outside. Oh my God, this can't be happening. Mom, we can't get in. Well, do you have the money to buy regular tickets? But no, I spent everything on these passes. Well, hmm. Have fun waiting outside, peasants. <laughs> I'll buy your tickets. Come on, well, come on oh, down before I change my mind. Your mom's the best. <laughs> Kiki. <laughs> Have you ever tried studying in a brown house? The TV is always blasting, and people are constantly yelling. Yet, somehow you're expected to get straight A's. Ah, oh, that doesn't work. Mm. Come on, Divya. You can do this. It's here. What's here? Your acceptance letter from the university. You already opened it? Of course. They are giving you a full scholarship. Now you will be a doctor, Div. That's great. Why aren't you more excited? No, mom, wait, no. What is this nonsense? Are these jokes? I've been practicing comedy and I really like it. Mom, I think I want to do stand up. Are you kidding? Do you want to give a bad name to our family? How so? There are tons of successful brown comedians. Adam W, Mindy Kaling, and Devin Hart. No, you are going to be a doctor, not some bloody comedian. Now get back to studying. For what? Stanford's already accepted me. Doesn't matter. You still need to be valedictorian at your school. So no more wasting time. Like that. 
They're really dumb. <laughs> you write this? Is it that obvious? What do you mean? They're really funny. <laughs> so you're into comedy then? Yeah. I want to be a comedian one day and maybe even have my own Netflix special. That's amazing. But isn't your major pre-med? No, it's actually tent making. Wait, are, are you serious? <laughs> Come on, I'm Indian. I was basically born pre-med. <laughs> hey, you could have very well been a tent making major. <laughs> you know what? I just got back from the student involvement fair and apparently there's a comedy club here. They're having an open mic tomorrow at six. You should go. Wow. I don't know. I've never done stand up before. Well, here's your chance. <laughs> Yeah, it's just that my mom's really not on board with this. She wants me to be a doctor, just like my dad. Not sure how she'll feel about this. Look, you can't do things just to please your mom. Besides, I'm sure your dad won't mind if you aren't a doctor. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I just, I wish he was still here. My dad? He always told me to follow my dreams and not anyone else's. I just wish my mom felt the same. Oh, wait, your dad? He passed away a few years ago. I'm so sorry. But maybe that's even more reason for you to go to the open mic. Mom, you can't just come in here whenever you want. You at least have to knock. Nonsense, we're Indian, we don't knock. Anyway, I just ran into a wonderful doctor in the supermarket. I told him all about you, and he said that he lets pre-med students work in his office. It's perfect. No, what's this? Comedy club? <laughs> Not this again. You don't have time for some silly club. You have to study. Yeah, but mom, I want to do other things too. My whole life can't be all about studying. Yes, it can. Your cousin Preeti started med school at 20. You need to catch up. Yeah, but mom- No I... daughter of mine is going to waste her life being a jokester. Anyway, you will meet with the doctor tomorrow evening at six o'clock. I've already set it up. Six? I have something going on at that time. What could be more important than this? Cancel your plans. But mom- I don't want to hear it, Div. This is your future we're talking about. Now make sure you get there early. I brought you more paratas. I'll see you tomorrow. So, what are you gonna do? I don't know. I can't believe she'd do this. What do you think I should do? If I'm being honest, I think you should listen to your dad on this one. You're right. Thank you. I wanna see more jokes? <laughs> And that is why you never date two girls who work at the same fast food restaurant. <laughs> All right, let's hear it for Hobie. And uh, next up, we have Divya. Now, this is her first time performing, so let's welcome her to the stage with a warm round of applause. Finally, I thought you weren't gonna show. Listen, Divya, something happened. Don't, okay, tell me later. I gotta go. Just wish me luck. Divya, don't. Thank you, everyone. My name is Divya, and I'm a freshman at Stanford, and I'm pre-med. Yeah, thanks, thanks. Yeah, I've been training my entire life for this. While other kids were at pre-K, Desi kids were at PSAT prep. 
And while other babies were learning to walk, Desi kids were training to become mini Meredith Greys. And while other kids' first words were dada and bye bye, Desi kids' first words were push 10 of Epi. <laughs> I mean, now, don't get me wrong. Indian parents love their kids. It's just conditional love. You know, as long as I was getting straight A's and winning spelling bees, I had nothing to worry about. But if I came home with an A minus, my mother would erase me from her memory completely. You know, like we would be at the supermarket and people would say, oh, is that your daughter? And my mother would say, no, that is not my daughter. That is some girl who brings home a minus. <laughs> <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. I don't mean to put my mom in a bad light, but if she were here... Did you... Mom? Meet me outside. Now! I'm so sorry. I, I should get going. I gotta go. I'm sorry. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, don't worry. The show's gonna continue in just a minute. How could you do that to me? You humiliated me in front of everyone. You humiliated? I'm the one who's humiliated. Finding you at some club instead of the dinner with the doctor. You're an hour late. Mom, I told you I had plans today. And besides, I don't even know that doctor, and neither do you. What disgraceful behavior. Now get yourself together so we can go. We'll tell him that, that you were lost and you couldn't find the place. I don't even want to go. What, do you want to stay here and keep doing this nonsense? Why do you have such a problem with me doing this? Because it's a distraction. You need to be focused if you want to be a doctor. I don't want to be a doctor. You want me to be a doctor. Listen, Mom, I don't want to be a doctor, and I don't want to go to college. I want to be a comedian. I love making people laugh, and I know I can be successful doing it. Just, just give me a chance. You want to drop out of school and chase some silly dream? Go ahead and fail, then. Just know that you are bringing great shame on this family. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. So what's it going to be? Are you going to come with me to meet the doctor or not? You are making a huge mistake. I don't want to see your face anymore. where I was. No, no, she must have seen it on the flyer. But I did see her in the parking lot. I tried to warn you, I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. I'm just tired of hiding this from her. You've been an awesome friend and roommate, even if it's the first week of school. If it wasn't for you, I would have never come here tonight. What are you saying? I'm, I'm dropping out of college. What? Are, are, are you sure this is the right decision? Just for a semester, I have to at least try to give this comedy thing a real shot. And if it doesn't work out, I can always re-enroll. Oh, wow. Okay, um... I'll miss you as my roomie. <laughs> but... I believe in you, Divya. Thanks for everything, Jasmine. <laughs> I can't wait to see you on the big stage one day. <laughs> While still second guessing her decision, Divya drops out of college to pursue her dream. She ends up getting a job at a local cafe to help pay her bills. During her downtime, she practices her jokes every chance she gets. 
She continues to do stand-up comedy at open mics whenever she can. She gets more and more comfortable performing her jokes and keeps getting better. As time goes on, more people hear about this new comedian in town that's making everyone laugh. Her jokes are a big hit and the audience goes wild. Eventually, she even gets approached by one of her favorite comedians, Devin Hart, who offers to collaborate with her. Divya can't believe it. Several months later, Divya ends up selling out big shows. You were amazing tonight. Oh, thank tonight. you so much. Would you mind signing this for of me? Of course not. There you go. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, come on, let's get you to your car. Thank you. Oh my gosh, you I'm sorry, man, but you can't. No, be it's okay. That that's my mom. Can you guys give us a moment? It's been a long time. Too long. How did you know I was here? Are you kidding? You're all over the place. It's impossible to miss. And you're even on the billboards. So I decided to buy a ticket to the show. Wait, you came to see my show? I actually thought it was very funny, Divya. Wow. Thanks. I, I wasn't expecting that from you. I was wrong about your comedy. I thought being a doctor was the only way to be successful. <laughs> Clearly, I was wrong. I am so sorry. Mom! I have something to show you. was a comedian too. That's where you get it from. He wanted so badly to be a comedian, but his family wanted him to be a doctor. He didn't want to shame them, so he gave up his dream. I didn't want to admit it before because it hurt too much. He saw that I did the same thing to you he wouldn't be happy. <laughs> You're funny. Just like him, you know? Even the mom jokes. <laughs> Even the mom jokes, Div. Your father would be so proud. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> but... We do need to have a talk about a few of those jokes that I don't find so funny. <laughs> Why'd you say I was controlling, huh? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Is that even a real question? <laughs> <laughs> hey there. That's gonna be $14.92. Ah, uh, yeah. Mom, I need 20 bucks. Make sure you tip him well. There you go. Thank you, and here you go. How much change would you like for that? What is this? Pepperoni and pineapple. Isn't that what you ordered? Who puts pineapple on a pizza? Do I look like a sociopath? I asked for pepperoni. I, I, I'm really sorry. Um, would you mind just taking off the pineapple, or I could also go back to the store? I'm not gonna do your job for you. Go get me a new one. Absolutely, I'm just gonna need to. You guys like pineapple? Yeah, I'll have some. I love pineapple. Gross. I'm sorry, but can I get that pizza back? My boss is gonna make me pay for it if I don't. Take another slice before I give it back. Here. And hurry up, I'm starving. For sure, I'll be back as soon as possible. Again, I am really, really sorry about... 
Did you leave him a nice tip? No, I didn't even pay him. The moron put pineapple on my pizza. I told him to get me a new one. Okay, Derek, we don't call people that. What? He's a delivery driver. I mean, how hard is it to get a simple order right? You know, most jobs are harder than they look. You would know if you ever had one. <laughs> Whatever. Besides, it probably wasn't even his fault. I don't care. All I know is he better get it right this time. <sighs> Man, I can't believe your mom's gonna give you a Beamer for your birthday. Yep, we already ordered it. I got the metallic blue, just like that pick. Finally. About time. Yeah, I'm so sorry about that. I was running a little bit late because I had a pothole on the way over here. Spare me the details. At least you got it right this time. Great. Um, that'll be $14.90. This pizza's frozen cold. I'm not paying for this. Look, I'm really sorry, all right? I got a flat on the way over here and I had to run with my bike. You know what, that's just my fault. I don't mind paying for it, but you could keep it and just maybe throw it in the oven or something. I'm not cooking my own pizza. I don't care if it's free. Hurry up and get me a hot one before I call your manager and complain. Of course, yeah. I'll be back as soon as possible. I can't believe that guy. what I miss? He's about to face off against Rhino. Let's go. Suns in six? No way. Not unless Devin Booker actually learns how to play defense. Finally. Hi, so I double checked and I made sure it's pepperoni. Also, I, I, I took an Uber on the way over here to make sure that uh, it's nice and warm. Let me see. Yeah. You jit me. What do you mean? Each slice usually has three pepperonis on it. This one only has two. Oh, uh, I'm sure that just varies from pizza to pizza, and they would never intentionally do that. Yeah. You sure you didn't eat my pepperoni? No, I, I would never. Mm-hmm. I'll take it, I guess. There's 20. Thanks. How much change would you like? I'll take five back. But the total comes out to be 1492. I know what the total is. You should feel lucky you're getting any tip at all with how bad your service is. You're right. I'm really sorry about it. Did you just slam the door in that boy's face? Uh, yeah, but he deserved it. Derek, that is not how we treat people. Especially after he worked so hard to get your pizza right. Well, if he would have just done it right the first time, he wouldn't have to keep coming back. <sighs> you see, that's what your problem is. What are you talking about? You think everything is so easy because you've never had to work hard for anything. Mom, my friends are here. Can we just talk about this later? No, I think they should hear this. Well, you're sitting here watching TV all summer and complaining about how many slices of pepperoni are on each pizza slice. That boy is out there working hard. It's real easy for you to ask me for money, but it's a whole lot harder when you have to earn it yourself. Maybe you should get a job delivering pizzas so you can see how it is. <laughs> yeah, like that would ever happen. I am serious. You don't know how hard someone's job is until you do it yourself. It's real funny, Mom. Anyway, back to the game? No. It's either that, or I take away your PS5, I take away your allowance, and you won't be getting a car for your birthday. You can't do that. We already ordered it. Well, I will just call the dealership and tell them I changed my mind. So, what's it going to be? You can't lose that car, bro. Yeah, you're getting a Beamer. That's like, insane. Just do whatever she says. Fine. I'll get a job for a month, but that's it. <laughs> we'll see if you even last a week. Derek reluctantly agrees to get his first job. A few days later, he starts working at a local restaurant. His first assignment? is to deliver pizzas. 
things seemed to be going fine in the beginning. That is, until he starts to deal with rude customers. They get upset about him getting the pizza wrong, how long it took to deliver, or bringing cold food, even though none of it was Derek's fault. Derek finally understands how difficult it is to have a job. Hey, honey. How was work? It was all right. I just got home. Oh. Well, I have to say, I am surprised at how long you've lasted. Are you hungry? I'll fix you some supper. That's all right. I ordered us food. I got enough for both of us. Okay, great. Uh, how much do I owe you? Don't worry about it. This one's on me. Wow. Hey, I got your uh, large pepperoni pizza. And don't worry, I double checked it this time, so. This has pineapple on it. Oh, you're joking. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Here's a 20. Keep the change. <laughs> really? I know how hard your job is. I felt really bad about the last time. Sorry about that. Thanks. Really means a lot. Have a great one. It's like I don't even know who this new Derek is anymore. Thanks, Mom. Now let's eat. Oh, and I was thinking. Don't tell me you don't want the Beamer anymore. Now you're going way too far. I was just thinking maybe black instead. Oh, yeah. I think black would be nice. I just broke 5,000 followers. That's awesome. Still a long way from a million. Hey, gotcha, man. <gasps> Sorry. What's wrong with him? I think he has struts. He's pretty popular. He has over a million. I just figured out how to gain a bunch of new followers. <laughs>